The second reading for today is from the first letter of John. In this reading, John teaches, those who keep his commandments will remain in him and he in them. This teaching is like today's gospel passage where Jesus says, whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Jesus also says in John's gospel, he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. In all three scripture quotations, we are told to remain to abide in Jesus. We're also told two principal ways to remain in Jesus. The first way is to keep God's commandments, which are summarized by Jesus into love of God and love of neighbor. The second way is to eat the body and blood, soul and divinity of the risen Lord Jesus in the Eucharist. Jesus abides in us when we keep God's commandments, since when we do so, we are uniting our wills to Jesus' wills, who always does what is pleasing to his heavenly Father. Love is the union of wills. Drawing further meaning out of John's teaching on love, Father Menard comments that if someone is unwilling to obey his brother whom he sees, how can he claim to obey God whom he does not see? Furthermore, continues Father Menard, one who uses obedience to God as a pretext for not obeying human beings is simply deluding himself. He yields to a subtle form of self-love that enables him to evade the difficult demands of concrete obedience and then a name of obedience to a will of God, which he himself, in fact, is clandestinely, secretly shaping to fit his own ideas and desires. Today, may we be given the grace to understand how true love is related to obedience, obedience to God and obedience to our brothers and sisters. For as Father Menard states, the first word of love is not I love you, but rather I serve you, I obey you. As we understand obedience to God and to our brothers and sisters as a form of loving servants, loving service, loving obedience, to ones we love, we will dispose ourselves more and more to be transformed by Jesus when we receive him in the Eucharist. When we refuse to obey God and refuse to obey our brothers and sisters, we become loveless. We become like a branch that is cut off from a tree or vine. Imagine a branch that has many buds on it, each one waiting to flower into beautiful little flowers. If this branch is cut off from the tree, it will fall to the ground, dry up and wither, and all the little buds will also dry up and wither until the dry, withered branch's only use is to be thrown into fire to be burned. Lord Jesus, grant us the grace to abide in you by obeying your commandments, and when we receive your true presence of the Eucharist, may you transform us more and more into your image and likeness. May God bless you all.